Now to Ohio, where there is a new proposal to let some repeat felons hide their criminal records from public view, including from prospective employers. Supporters of the measure say it would help ex-cons find their way back into society. Some victims' rights advocates say not so fast. With me now, Ohio State Democratic Senator Shirley Smith, the lawmaker who introduced the Second Chance Bill, and also Defense Attorney Jeffrey Steinberger. Thanks to both of you for being here. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you. Senator, I'll begin with you. Why do you think this legislation is needed? Well, one thing, when, when dozens and dozens of people come to me trying to better their lives, trying to support their families, trying to be productive citizens uh, of their state, their community, then th there needs to be something done. People who have uh, been convicted of crimes 10, 15, 20 years ago cannot find employment, and they cannot be part of their community, support their families, if these uh, convictions are on their records. Jeffrey, this proposal would only allow people convicted of lower level felonies uh, and misdemeanors to have their records sealed and only after staying out of trouble for at least five years. What are your thoughts? Monica, it's still, it's silly, it's dangerous, it's irresponsible. Look, if you're dumb enough, stupid enough to com commit the same crime three or more times, you deserve to be in prison. You don't deserve to get a break. You don't deserve to get uh, uh, your record sealed. You deserve repeat offenders repeat and the society has a right to be protected they have a right to be protected you want to know if your gardener your bookkeeper are repeat offenders you want to know if they're convicted burglars you don't want them record sealed you want to know what's going on if they're Senator dumb enough if they did the crime they got to pay the time and they got to take all the consequences that go with it uh, well, Mo well monica i think it's even sillier and even stupid to to for us as taxpayers to continue to pay for these people when we can and make them more productive citizens of our community. I Senator, mean, let me ask you this, though. This is uh, coming from the Plain Dealer. They wrote this in an editorial, quote, the hard truth is that what businesses don't know about their employees can hurt them. In a court of law, it can damage their insurance rating and alienate the buying public. What do you say to business owners who are going to have a real hard time with this? What I say to business owners is, under this bill, they are not liable. Business owners cannot be liable for something they do not know. Case in point, Rozzy versus Star Personnel, uh, Star Personnel Services, a case handed down, decision handed down here in Ohio, May 26th, this year, that says no employer is legal, has the legal duty to look into a person's ba a personal background. But Senator, let's step away from, from the legal aspect here. Let's just talk about a, a, an employer who says, Look, forget a lawsuit, forget, forget liability. I'm just worried about what happens right. in my workplace. I'm worried about the safety of my workers or, I mean, you know, they may not be thinking that far to, to legal issues. They may just be worried about the day-to-day. -day. Well, let's look at the, the Enrons of the world. Those people didn't have a criminal past. And look at the crimes they committed. We had in Ohio a situation where a person was working for a post office and came back and killed many people. Don't, that person didn't have a criminal background. So we're taking a risk with those people we work with day in and day out. So let's take a risk with the people who have proved themselves over no, a number of years to give them a job and give them a chance to be productive citizens. Jeffrey, is this an opportunity to take a chance? Uh, I mean, couldn't this be a way to prevent ex-cons from turning back to crime after prison due to lack of opportunities? Come on, it's silly. Look. First time offenders, okay, but the operative word here is multiple offenders. You're talking about guys that are repeated offenders, and repeated offenders repeat. This is not the place to take the risk. This is not the place where employers don't know what their bookkeeper does, don't know what their gardener does. You don't want to hire a low-end theft, grand theft auto person or a burglar or an arms possessor. You don't want to hire those people without knowing what their records are. You don't want to have not have the ability to check those records. You don't want to have not the ability to know who your employee is before you that presents before you. All right, yeah. and I don't, I don't want to have to end this, but I do have to because they're telling me we're out of time here. Jeffrey Steinberger, State Senator Shirley Smith, thank you both for your time. Thank we you. appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Moving on now to Ohio, a controversial new proposal may protect some repeat felons from having to reveal their criminal records, even to potential employers. The measure is aimed at helping ex-cons re-enter society as productive citizens. But some victims' rights advocates are up in arms. With me now, Ohio State Democratic Senator Shirley Smith, the lawmaker who introduced the Second Chance Bill, and also defense attorney Jeffrey Steinberger. Thank you very much, both of you. Good morning, Mika. Uh, first of all, um, Ms. Smith, I mean, why do you think this legislation is needed? I, I could see a whole bunch of caveats that, that come up as a result of it.
Let, let me say this this morning that, Mika, this isn't just about selling people's records. This is about people paying their fair share, no longer being a tax burden to the rest of us. It's about people who have already paid their debt to society. They have served the time, and they deserve to, to go to work and take care of their families. Now, this is the only system in America where when there's an indebtedness, people cannot clean their slate and go on about their lives. Now, if you go bankrupt, if you have a lien against you, against your property, you serve several years. Once that's done, you are allowed to go back and live as a, as a citizen. But the criminal justice system does not allow you to do that. Uh -huh. Once you have paid your debt, you still have a, uh, a, a, a yep. label on you that well, you cannot be a productive citizen. Let me get Jeffrey in here, though, because, I mean, isn't it a little bit different when we're talking about debt versus crimes? Nika, you're absolutely right. This is the most silly, dangerous, and irresponsible legislation that's coming out of Ohio. What, are you kidding me? If you're dumb enough, stupid enough to do a crime three times or more, you don't deserve any breaks. You don't deserve to have your record sealed. You don't deserve protection by the law. If that's the way you act, repeat offenders, repeat, and you've got to protect society. Look, employers have the right to know that they're hiring a three-time convicted burglar, a three-time convicted drug dealer, a three-time convicted arms dealer. What, are we kidding ourselves? This legislation is silly. It's absurd. It's ridiculous. Senator, Mika, let me say, let me say this. Those people aren't even eligible under this bill. These are for people that may have stolen hubcaps, that have maybe stolen an automobile, that maybe have vandalized property. Now, I am not condoning that. But what I'm saying to you, that the people that commit low-level crimes, and sometimes out of necessity and desperation don't need to to live their lives with this label on their back the rest of their lives they've already paid their debt and they need to have a second chance we've talking about we're talking about people who have already paid their debt low-level crime we're not talking about murderers we're not talking about people who kidnap we're not talking about people who do sexually oriented crime we're I get talking your about point. very low-level crime I get your point senator and Jeffrey does she have a point because these people do need to re-enter society where are they supposed to go and do you do not push them back to the dark side if you don't give them some place to go. We're not telling them they can't go anywhere. We're releasing them into society. We just want the employers protected. If you do the crime, you have to do the time. And you don't get any benefits and you don't get any resolve out of it. You don't get discounts on it. You don't get to have us protect you after you get out. We don't get reinforce the criminality of what you've done. You take the consequences for what you've done and you those are the consequences. Okay, Jeffrey Steinberger and State Senator Shirley Smith, a controversial issue. Thank you both for coming Thank on you. today. Thank very you very interesting. much.